victorious today, five to one. We are with first base coach Mike Chambers. Mike, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thanks for having me. So, Mike, quick start to the NE10 season. You guys pick up your fifth win in eighth in a row. How important is it to start the NE10 off this quickly in this competitive of a conference? Uh, it's definitely important to start off strong. Um, you got a lot of good teams in this conference, and uh, you, know, you don't want to fall behind too quickly, or else you're going to get a big trouble. 19 and 4 overall. It's difficult to believe on March 27th, you guys are already 23 games into the season. You guys got some games coming up this week. Another one against Bentley, then Assumption, and then this weekend a big day against uh, Southern Connecticut State, who is you know currently undefeated. It's going to be a difficult week for you guys to balance four games this week. Well, I mean, four games in a week isn't too big of a load. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. we got plenty of arms, and uh, we're going to come full force on uh, Saturday against our game. A little bit of a trouble base running in the first couple of innings there. As the starter, John Yo had a couple of pickoffs. Uh, being the first base coach, what was it that you saw over there that maybe you know made this move a little bit more effective? We had a good quick move, and then we had those guys stealing, so they got a little jumpy. Um, they needed to relax a little bit and know that he was uh, and then they could have easily got those bases, but they got a little jumpy and uh, they, they got picked up. As far as hitters go, you know, Mike Dow, two for four today with two doubles. He's got four doubles in his last two games. A little, little, little bit of a slump before that, you know, month. very important for him to come out if you want this team to be successful. How important is it for you guys to see him come out with those four doubles? It's real important. I mean, he's one of the best hitters I've seen in a long time. And uh, having him hot and having him ready to go, he's, he's in the heart of our lineup, him and uh, Ingui and, and Zach, and, and those three guys, are, are when they're hitting, we're, you know, we're really tough. And then Zach Matthew today, who will join us in just a second. Two for four today with two RBIs. You know, how important is the freshman influence with him? You know, Rouse, Calvin Graves, we've seen Cal Hogan as well. You know, the freshman really, inter you know, integral part of the offense this year, along with the veterans. Yeah, definitely. We're going to need that. And, and Zach stepped up huge this year, and uh, he's putting up numbers that, that you see from a senior or a junior. And um, he makes adjustments, and he's doing everything we need him to do in the batter's box and, and uh, staying with himself. So it, it's been good to see production from him and production from uh, guys like Rouse and Calvin. And we're going to need those guys uh, for the rest of the way, definitely. All right, Mike, thank you for joining us, and good luck later on this week with Bentley, Assumption, and Southern Connecticut State. We will turn the headset over to Zach now. We have a little bit of time here. As Zach takes a seat, put on the headset. This is his first go-round of the interview process. Zach, good game today, two for four, two RBIs. Is that what you try to do every game? <laughs> Uh, no, I just uh, try to do my role, you know, whether it's moving the ball to the opposite field to move the runner over or uh, hitting the ball in the gap to bring in the runner, I just try to square balls up. So what exactly is it they're feeding you in Derry, New Hampshire? You're a big dude, 6'7", you know, 250 pounds right around there. Does that help you, uh, you know, have a better plate coverage than, say, someone not so big of your size? Or is that, you know, just something you've learned as you've gone along over time? Um, well, the biggest thing that it helps me with is sometimes if I don't get a good piece of the ball, the ball still goes pretty far. So, but as as of covering the plate, yeah, it allows me to back off the plate, reach the inside pitch, and then if they throw me away, I'm still able to protect the plate and shoot the ball out of the way. Uh, we noticed that on that deep double in the gap uh, that I was able to drive in some of those insurance runs late in the game. Uh, Bentley, you know, any 10 conference pitching, I know that you had. Uh, a little bit earlier in the season, you weren't facing any 10 competition. Have you noticed the, the change in the level of competition that you've been playing? Uh, the Northeast 10 Conference tends to have uh, a little bit above average competition for you guys. Uh, yeah, the pitches are definitely better, and um, everyone tries to bring their A game to play us, which is good. So we always got to be ready. And the pitchers, it seems when we face a pitcher, they're always on top of the game. All right, and uh, the same question I pretty much asked Mike earlier. Uh, how important is it is for you as a freshman and you notice some of the other freshmen who have contributed thus far to really keep things going and kick it back to the veterans of the line? Um, well, I think we owe it all to the veterans. Actually, they uh, they produce so we don't we don't have to press or anything like that. I can just go up there and just try to hit the ball solid. Other than that, I feel like we, our offense puts up some pretty good numbers, so I'm not trying to press or anything. I don't struggle because of it. All right, Zach, and you must be good to get out of practice and get into some consistent games since you guys got four more coming up this week. I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, practicing for a few months in the bubble definitely can wear on you, but 
it's good to get outside and play some games because this is what you work for all season. All right, Zach, that'll do it for today. Wish you good luck this upcoming week. Hopefully Zach and the Ravens can continue their winning ways later on this week.